Welcome to Austin. one of these lime scooters and they're kind of scary and crazy but also fun. Don't worry, I'm being pretty safe, but it's like a little bit wild that these are just fine to drive on the road. Just everywhere. Got my Trader Joe's haul. I'll show you when I get home. We're honestly staying in such a perfect area in Austin. We're staying on 6th Ave, but I feel like it's just outside of downtown. We're really close to like a Target, a Whole Foods. It was just a short scooter ride to the Trader Joe's. I'm really ashamed that this Airbnb does not have a nonstick pan because uh, my cooking situation is not going so good, but I did want to show you what I got. They finally have cauliflower gnocchi. This is what I'm attempting to cook currently, but it's not going so good. I got three of those and then I got the gorgonzola gnocchi. I got some of my favorite smart sweets, these licorice ones that you can't get in Canada. And then a bunch of beverages as per usual. I'm going to be making this pesto sauce on the gnocchi and with some spinach also. It's not bad, it would just be much better if it was crispy. One of the things that I was really excited about with Austin was to go thrift shopping and vintage shopping. So I Googled a couple places around town and I'm gonna go check one of those out right now. The place I'm going is called Uptown Cheapskate and it seems like they have a mix of designer stuff and just kind of like regular consignment clothing. I'm gonna take one of those motorized scooter things that I realized yesterday are really, really fun and I'll see you there. This place ended up being a little bit further away than I anticipated. So I'm really happy that I took the scooter and I actually had to Uber back to our Airbnb, but it was in a bit of a strip mall and it looks like they just opened a bigger location or like moved a few stores down or something. It was very, well stocked as you can see and in fact a little overwhelming because they had so much stuff like look at all of these tops they did also carry some new stuff which i was a bit confused about and i ended up in this designer rack where they had not like chanel louis vuitton type of designer but a good american and a couple other pieces that were a little bit more expensive as well honestly not that bad though and i did find this jacket that i liked I'm back now from Uptown Cheapskate and it was actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. That store had tons and tons of stuff in it. And if you are in Austin and you're looking for like something to wear out, honestly, they just had so, so much of that stuff. A little bit more kind of like fast fashion. So I saw that there was like a lot of Forever 21. There was a lot of like online brands, but they seemed kind of like Shein type of quality. And then at the same time, they also had a pretty small designer section. So one of the things I tried was a pair of Good American like patent leather pants. And it's a shame they were like flood pants on me because they were pretty cute. I am not sure how I feel about like the zipper closure, but they were really comfortable. They fit me really well. And I like that they were like that shiny, shiny, shiny patent leather. I also tried on a jacket that was from Express. I did find a couple of things that were like fairly damaged. I got a clip of a pair of faux leather pants that were just like falling apart. And personally, like I wouldn't want to buy those. So I don't know that anyone else would really want to buy something like that, especially they were like $19. Um, one thing that was really great about this store though, is the pricing. The pricing was good. Obviously it's an American. So it's a little bit more when you do the exchange rate, if you are Canadian, like I am speaking of trendy, affordable items. This is what I ended up getting. So this is just one of those shirts that has like the stitching um, exposed on the outside, the exposed seams. And 
I don't even know if these are still considered trendy or cool, but I always have kind of liked them. And particularly I felt like this color combo was really nice. And this was only $6.99. So it was really, really cheap. And I just decided, you know, I don't have that much room in my luggage, but I have enough room for this. So if this is the only thing that I get in Austin, at least I'll have one memory of it. Another day, another thrift store. This one is a Goodwill boutique, which I've never been to one of those before. So excited to check it out. Let's go on in. This is actually the most disorganized thrift store I've ever been into in my life. And I guess they did it super strange. So they had their regular sections. This was a cashmere sweater that was a really good deal, by the way. Like they have the sweater section. And so you can go through everything kind of grouped by color. And then they also have like a Zara section, an H&M section tailored to the store itself. I also found all of these Texas shirts. So if you're looking for souvenirs, there are so many here, but back to the organization, like it just meant that things were in two places, nothing was sized. Like, I don't even know how I found this Aritzia bodysuit. It was just kind of like tossed in somewhere. And you really didn't know like where to look for pieces. Everyone else was confused, not just me. This dress was silk and I didn't like the color, but like, I kind of wanted to get it cause it was a good deal. These jackets, okay, the only thing that you could find that was well organized in the entire store were these beautiful, elaborate, like very intricate matching two-piece sets. Um, and I mean, the, just like the fabric on these is insane. I also found these Zara pants, which I own and like I brought on the trip. So they have some good stuff here, but it's kind of hidden and some stuff was expensive. So these shoes like 40 bucks, they're nice shoes. I like them, but I don't think like 40 bucks in a thrift store for a pair of shoes is like that reasonable at all. That was a very oddly organized store and I actually didn't end up finding anything which I couldn't even tell you the last time I went to a thrift store and I didn't come home with anything. Today is looking so much nicer than any other day that we've been here. It's very sunny and I think it's going to be really warm in the end. I'm at Hope Family Thrift Store and I've heard this place is good and I'm hoping it will redeem my inability to find good pieces so far this trip. I'm here right as they open too. I was so excited when I first walked into this thrift store. It just seemed so huge and full of possibilities. This was the first bag that I saw, thought it was super cute. And then I went looking for some other pieces. I was thinking like maybe a matching suit set. And then of course I saw this green dress. It caught my eye, you know, I love green. And I was looking for more spring pieces, just like with this skirt, I thought that it could be cute as well. And then I headed over to the blazer section, which like I always do when I'm thrift shopping, no matter how many blazers I have. They're just such a staple and they're so good to find at the thrift store. I usually look in the men's and the women's section because you never know what you're gonna find. And I honestly like the men's ones are usually better. Then it was time to head to the fitting room, try some stuff on and also drop my keys on the floor, but not notice until I got back to our Airbnb. This skirt, unfortunately, I didn't like the way that it felt on it was really really thin and just kind of cheap feeling if i have one regret from this store it's that i didn't buy this top i just really talked myself out of it it was 100 percent silk it was a good price and i just didn't like the front detail but now i think it looks cute this dress though really like this was a miss for me i feel like just looks so bad on like somehow it just makes me look so weird uh so that was a no but this blazer set, oh my gosh, I wish the pants were longer because it actually fit me so well. Like the perfect low rise, the blazer was really cute. Like I felt like it looked really good on, but you just can't make pants longer. So like there's nothing that I could have done except maybe make it into shorts, which 
yeah, just wasn't gonna happen. This is a men's blazer. I really liked the pattern and the color, but it felt like a little bit too big to me. Looking at it now, like maybe I could have pulled it off though. I wanted to get this bag and I thought that it was just like a cute little pop of color. At this point, I was like panicking because I hadn't found anything and I was just doing so bad with thrifting in Austin, but it's from Walmart. So I looked at the company and I just left it behind. It wasn't worth it. I actually got something. This reminds me of the Bottega Veneta bags. Obviously a totally different style. It is much larger, but I saw it when I first walked in and then I didn't have a lot of luck in the fitting rooms and I saw it as I was walking out. It's on sale and I just decided to grab it and I think I'm gonna be able to style this in a really cute way. If you watch the LA vlog, you know that that's true. Anyways, this place was my last, last ditch attempt. It was across the street from our Airbnb and they had this really cute Las Vegas sweater that was a crew neck, that was pastel and beautiful. Really expensive though. Like this is like a vintage store, so they mark everything up a lot. And then it was time to leave. It was time to get out of Austin. We headed back to the airport and went to LA.